In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Odyssey project in version 1.1, step by step. Hi, I'm Claire Gonet from Praxinos. If you want to know how to start with Odyssey, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do so you can create a project that fits your needs. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do when you want to create a new Odyssey project is to launch the software. Launching Odyssey can take a few minutes at least for the first time because it's compiling shaders. Next time, it should be faster. Now that you have launched Odyssey, it's time for step two. After the splash screen, you will be displayed the project browser and its various templates. So next step is to choose from one of the templates to start a new project. We're gonna see together all the characteristics of most templates. First category is recent project. You can use it to open one of the projects done with Odyssey. 2D drawing category lets you create projects with an empty level and a single texture 2D. Various sizes are available to start with on most templates. You can choose in this range or create a new one afterwards. Storyboard category lets you choose a template to create a project to make 2D storyboards in an empty level or a 2D 3D storyboard with a simple level with a sky and a floor. Each template from this category contains a board sequence with five short sequences and their corresponding planes and cameras. In 2D animation, the templates create a project with an empty level and an asset animation with two raster layers. The project starts directly on the animation asset, ready for your 2D animation. Next, 2D animation in a 3D environment. It creates a project with a simple level with a sky on the floor. This template also contains an animation asset, a level sequence, and a camera on a plane. It is recommended for advanced users. And for the last one, it's 3D tools. You will find their various templates to learn how to use different 3D tools, like modeling, it's also for advanced users. Once you choose your template, choose the directory of the project and its name at the bottom of the panel. Be careful with the naming convention of your project names. Project name may not contain a space or a dot, but you can put underscores and numbers. Then click on create. There you have it. In just a few steps, you can create a new Odyssey project. If you don't already have Odyssey installed, there is a link in the description to a tutorial where I explain how to do it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. And please don't forget to follow us on every platform, including Discord, where we're always there to talk with you.